Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see how we can extract a zip file and a RAR file. In time, for sure, you will encounter one of these and you will probably need to use the files which are in them. So, the way to do that differs from the file type. We have zip files and RAR files. The zip files can be extracted using Windows, Windows 11, basically the Windows Explorer. You just need to right click on the zip file and here in the menu you have the option extract all left click once on this option and it will open this window it asks you where do you want to extract the files if we look closely basically the default option is just to create a folder where the archive is placed and include the files there so we're just going to leave it as it is but we're going to uncheck this option to show extracted files so it doesn't automatically open the, the folder and then when you're ready just left click on extract it takes a while depending on the file file size and here it is guys that was pretty quick now in regards to rar files it's a bit more complicated because windows doesn't support that automatically we don't see an icon for the file and if we right click we don't have any options to to extract the file so what we need to do guys is source a third party pro program from the internet today we're gonna have a look at winrar because it is it's one of the most used uh, archivers so to say so we're gonna leave this window open and we're gonna go to microsoft edge and on our search engine just type in WinRAR and search and then open the website and go to download over here left click once to open links generally and here guys we have the latest version and it's in 64 bits and also 32 bits so just download the the file that that you need the way to check that is by going to the start button and right clicking once the way to check your computer's uh, architecture that's what it's called and then go into system and left click once and here guys we can see our detail and under system type we can see it says 64-bit operating system and x64 based processor so if your operating system is 64-bit or if it's 32-bit just download the corresponding installer here on the WinRAR website so we're gonna use the 64-bit left click once to open the link and if we look closely it's downloaded already it's a fairly small installer over here and you can just left click once on the file and it will open automatically if you don't see any downloads you can just press ctrl and j on your keyboard and that will open generally will open the downloads folder in any browser and again left click once to open the installer If Windows asks you if you want to open the file that you've just downloaded from the internet, click yes. On this window guys, on the top we have the destination folder over here. This is where you where where we want to install the program. We're gonna leave it default. And when you're ready, click on install once. Here on the left, where it says associate with WinRAR with, you have the file types that, sh that WinRAR will uh, open automatically. They will have the, the WinRAR icon, and if you d double click on them, it they will open automatically in WinRAR. So we're gonna just toggle all, select all of them. What's also useful, guys, is here on the right, it says add WinRAR to desktop or to start menu. 
normally you don't really need a shortcut to to the archiver because you just use it on a case by case basis on any archive that you have so you don't don't really need a shortcut to the desktop or to the start menu it says here create within our program group that's for the start menu we're gonna leave that enabled other options are here where it says integrate WinRAR into shell. This means that when you right click a file, it will show the WinRAR options. So this is something that we need. Okay, guys, we're going to move forward. Left click once on OK when you're done. And that's it, guys. As we can see, WinRAR has been successfully installed. And now we can click done. We're also going to close the browser. The installer automatically opens the place where the WinRAR is located in the start menu. But this is just for our awareness. We don't really need it. We're going to close it. And now, as we can see, our RAR archive has the WinRAR icon. So this means now, guys, we're able to double click and open the archive. We have this start screen where WinRAR asks you to purchase a license. You don't have to, meaning that they won't stop the software from working if you don't do it. But if you have money, guys, it would be nice to, to, to purchase a license. We have the pictures here. They're not extracted. We can open them independently by double clicking, but this is just temporary. So we can see what's inside, but it's not really extracted anywhere on the computer to do that we will need to extract the file so we're gonna delete these old files and to extract the file the WinRAR archive just right click on it and as we can see we have now WinRAR here integrated in the shell and if you hover over it on the right you will see the available options what we need guys is just to click on extract here and that just extracts the file where our archive is located as we can see however if you have an archive with a lot of files and you don't want to have a thousand files in your folder what you can do is just right click go to WinRAR but instead select extract to file folder name archive name and that should create a folder here as we can see double click to open it and we have the same files here okay guys so that's it now you know how to open archives zip and rar as well thank you for watching our video subscribe for future tips